Salam alaikum warahmatullahi ¿Cómo estamos todos? Espero que todos estéis bien. I hope everyone is doing well. Arjukum bekhair jami'an. Y espero que todos estéis bien. Y espero que vous êtes tous... Uh, vous êtes vous êtes tous bien. So today, guys, I want to explain you guys how I became a polyglot and how I became fluent in five different languages, which is the definition of a polyglot. A polyglot is someone who speaks... It was at this moment that he knew. Not that he didn't know the definition of polyglot. So here it is, guys. A polyglot is someone who speaks several, several languages. So I feel as if I'm fluent at all the languages I speak, and that's a pride that I take just because it's been a blessing from Allah and it has helped me a lot throughout my life. So inshallah, today what I'm going to do, and we're going to see... And we are going to see from this video as well, from how many, like how, how many languages does the people who views the video speak. So if you guys uh, speak the language that I'm about to speak in, which is not my language, I will, you know, I, I need you guys to rate my level and skills in that particular language. Okay, so the five languages that I speak that I'm fluent at is first one, mother tongue, Catalan from Catalonia where Barcelona is at, okay? So north, uh, northeast of Spain, that's where Catalonia is at, and we speak a language, and some people might argue that it's not a language, but it is a language because Spanish people, they don't understand Catalonian. Even though Catalonians, we understand Spanish people, all right? So this is how I uh, speak Catalan. Y parlo catalán de manera normal, porque si usted nació en Barcelona y parlo catalán mamara, parlo catalán, parlaba catalán la mejor avia, uh, parlo catalán las mejores hermanas y a mucha gente la mejor familia y en general parlo catalán porque es la mera la mera la mera primera lengua. Uh, so that's the first language. Second language, guys, is Spanish. Okay, uh, like I said, some people they argue that Spanish and Catalan is the same language. Uh, but it's not. The clear cut proof is that Spanish people don't understand Catalan. Okay, so, so that's a clear, pop, uh, clear uh, cut proof. So, in terms of Spanish, uh, this is how I speak Spanish. Hablo español de manera normal, ya que he crecido en Barcelona. El español es una lengua que, que tienes que aprender sí o sí. En el colegio, la aprendes en la calle. Y, y la verdad es que el catalán lo hablé más en el colegio, creciendo que el español. Y, y en, en Cataluña, um, la mayoría de las escuelas aprendes en catalán, pero los estudiantes en general, solo porque hay mucha multiculturalidad, hablan español casi todos. But that's Spanish, ¿ok? Y I need you guys to, if you guys speak Catalan or Spanish, I need, to, I need you guys to rate my skills in every language, ¿ok? So now we're gonna go into the third one. The third one that I've learned, it was French. Ok, um, so French, uh, je parle français d'une façon un peu, je dirais, <laughs> comme un voyou des fois, et un peu cassos. Et la raison pour ça, c'est parce que à 14 ans, uh, je suis parti en France, à Paris, j'habitais au Bervilliers. Uh, si, vous connaissez, um, si vous connaissez Paris, au Bervilliers, Malawi, Tsan, tout ça... Uh, J'allais, j'allais à, au collège Gabriel Perry vers, euh, vers euh, c'était où ça La Courneuve, je ne me rappelle même plus, c'était, c'était quoi l'arrêt de, du métro C'était la, la dernier arrêt de métro de la ligne rose, je crois, je ne me rappelle plus. Après quatre chemins, trois ou quatre arrêts après quatre chemins, je ne me rappelle pas. Mais bref, j'ai appris français là-bas, dans les rues, dans l'école, euh, j'avais 14 ans, donc... Euh, Je pense que mon français, il est très pauvre en, quand, quand on parle de, de vocabulaire et d'une façon... J'arrive pas à parler d'une façon élo, élo, éloquente, le français. Je parle plus genre, vas-y, frérot, oh, 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 tu vois, genre, genre euh, français de rue. Donc voilà, if you guys speak French, read my French. Um, now, the third, the third language that I learned... Throughout my life, it was uh, it was English. So English, it was kind of like very gra- gradual, gra- gradual, gra- gradually, and uh, and it wasn't. I didn't really attack English, and I have never really learned English in a in a in a formal way because it was just 
part of it was first of all it was a subject in school from little like from young in school in catalonia since i was three or four or whatever it was so obviously you learn how to speak um you know normal english like hello my name is the numbers the abcds and whatnot and i remember that uh when i got when i got married i was 18 or 19 and i got married to uh to uh to a woman that speaks english but yeah I, I my wife me and my wife speak english she's native english speaker so that gave me a lot of um a lot of uh you know skills or you know it, it improved my english basically just because we've been married for seven years so uh i mean if you don't get better in seven years then i don't know but i will say as well that uh that um that i did benefit a lot just from from young before i started practicing whatnot i i, I was really involved into just the hip-hop culture and and just like just everything related to hip hop well, from music all the way to to movies and, and just the culture in general so so that was uh you know when you like something and when you're passionate about something uh and you do it you, you there's only one one thing you can you you get good at it so uh so i think that was um that was the reason why i why i am able to speak english the way how I how I'm able to speak, and I think um, you know I speak English to a to a certain good level I would say, uh, because if if you don't hear and speak for a long time, it will be really hard. And this is my opinion: it will it will be really hard to catch my accent, my Spanish accent. But this is up to you guys to rate it. So let me know uh, in the comments what you guys think about my English. The fifth language is obviously Al Arabiya. والعربية نتكلمها بهذه الطريقة التي تسمعونها الآن وتعلمتها في مصر و... وبعض الأحيان إذا كنت في الشارع وما كنت أحاول أن أتكلم بطريقة فصيحة وبطريقة واضحة بعض الناس خصوصا من, من أصله عربي يقول إن لفظي أو, أو... أو طريقة تلفظ الحروف وبعض الكلمات تكون مصرية فيسألونني وأيضا قد يكون بسبب الشكل لكن يسألونني هل أنت مصري هل وممكن أحاول ممكن بحاول أكلم بالمصرية شوية كذا عشان تسمعوا حتى لو كان واحد مصري ب يعني يقول لي ما ما هو مستواي لكن لكن ال اللغة التي تعلمتها والطريقة التي تعلمتها بالنسبة للعربية هو الفصيحة لكن لما كنت في مصر كنت كنت أنزل كثيرا إلى إذا عرفتم القاهرة في مصر كنت أنزل كثيرا إلى سوق القماشات لأنني كنت خياطا فكنت أنزل العتبة منتظما وبطريقة يعني مستمرة أنزل وأطلع وأنزل وأطلع ف... فأظن أن بسبب التجارة أثروا علي التجار بطريقة تلفظهم وطريقة كلامهم بالنسبة لبعض الكلمات و... وزبل... وزبتك و... و... ما أعرف يعني كلمات تخرج من فمي هكذا بغير أن بغير عمد يعني المهم uh, these are the five languages that I speak. And now, guys, you know, after you guys rate my skills in every single language, and I, and I want to give a, a few benefits of how this has benefited me or, um, yeah, benefit me in life in general, in the professional field, right? When employers or whatever you might be, they see that you in your curriculum, if they see that you speak different languages, automatically gives you a level of or, you know, they see you as a more intelligent person, as a more, you know, smart person and whatnot. Uh, in the professional field as well, it gives you more opportunities, obviously, because mainly in the, in the field of tourism, in the field of translation, in the field of, um, 
you know, whatever it might be, like uh, even hospitality, in, if you want to work in a hotel or something like, well, that's tourism, really. But uh, at the airport, you know, jobs like that, it helps even more as well. As well, if you want to run businesses and you want to perhaps, you know, find investors in different countries and this and that, that allows you as well to, to move around. Now, in terms of da'wah as well, that's amazing, subhanAllah. Like, you know, uh, like I, I have translated, I remember when Mufti Munir, we brought him to Spain. So I was translating, <laughs> we did the most epic, like the most epic conference ever, I think. He was speaking in Arabic and in English, and I was translating to Spanish. <laughs> But those who have studied and graduated, they can't understand them. You're not using what? Common sense. In my head, it was the first time I actually translated it from Arabic to to Spanish, and uh, and it was a uh, subhanallah. Yeah, and it was a, it was a, a you know a great benefit. Alhamdulillah, we got a, a very good feedback from it. But it was just uh, it was just uh, just really hard for me actually. It was my first uh, experience in in terms of um, it wasn't even translating. That was uh, interpretation. That's what really is. So, um, so yeah, in terms of that way, it helps a lot as well. Then uh, just in life, uh, it, helps you, it helps you grow as a person as well because you understand cultures and you understand people better when you speak their language and when you understand um, the culture. And, and through the language, you understand the culture as well. It's really hard to, under to understand a culture through through translations this is why um just to finish one of the reasons why some of the salaf they said that uh the one who doesn't know arabic if he's a muslim he wants to practice more the one who doesn't the muslim that doesn't know arabic he has a naqs in his religion meaning a minus a minus because through the language through understanding the language you actually understand better the concepts of that particular uh you know group or you know, if it's a tribe that speaks that language or if it's a religion that speaks that language, like in this case, the Arabic language, it gives you more understanding. And, and you just, you just ala basira. You, you know, you, you understand with clarity, not just translation. When you read the translation, and you know, Arabic is just like, yeah, okay. Like it's not, it doesn't sound the same. So, uh, so yeah, guys, I hope you guys benefited from this. And uh, if you guys want me to to emphasize a little bit more in different little concepts throughout this whole learning and the methods I used and how long it took me to learn all of these languages to the point um, of fluency and, and and whatnot, then comment down below. Uh, and this definitely should benefit you if you are a student of the Arabic language because uh, learning a language it's like any other language. If you are able to, to learn one language, and if you listen to this video, you already know one, you just need to use the same methods that you use to learn that language to learn another one. Uh, so, نكتفي بهذا القدر. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وصلى الله على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم. يا طالب العلم قم لا تنم فإن الزمان انقضى وانصرم فكن ما حييت ضنينا به فظنك بالوقت عين الكرم وكن حلس درسك وافرح به تكن قائدا في غد للأمم وبادر شبابك من قبل أن يقطع عزمك سيف الهرم ودع ما استطعت فضول اختلاط وأكل ونوم وقول وذم